Well, as the most observant of you can see, we are back in the car. Ooh. <laughs> um, we uh, have been with uh, we have been with the uh, Hutu since uh, Sotland. Um, actually, we started the whole trip uh, in Honingsvog with Hutu on the way south, because we had driven an electric car um, from Bergen to Norkop to see if that uh, is all possible or not. Excuse the bad uh, camera action going on here. And now we are in Trondheim, um, on the way south again from Nordkap. We are Sotland and uh, the Lofoten Islands. So what do you think, Ru? Just drive to Bergen? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so we're off. I also want to point out that it's 6 o'clock in the morning, um, which is very early, I think. And uh, we have 84% in the battery, and we are uh, have about ooh, 700 kilometers to Bergen ish. Yes. Ish, yeah. So, here we go again. <laughs> We stopped here at uh, Klatt at Circle K and uh, there's also a supercharger here so I just plugged in while we were getting some uh, little bit of supplies and uh, stuff like that. So now we are up to 89% and we are continue our uh, journey south on the E6 towards, um, I'm not quite sure where we're going to stop charging next time, um, we'll see. We are now at Uttal, um, uh, the wind is starting to pick up a bit, uh, clearly Frank hasn't just uh, left time just yet. Um, we are going to uh, cross over uh, Dobofjall in, in a while, um, the weather forecast up there is uh, windy, but I think it should be okay. And state of charge is 60%. Now, and the conditions are that bad. Actually, I would say they are pretty good considering um, uh, the level of wind we are having. And it's funny to see that it's actually more snow here in the south than it was uh, up in Finnmark. But hey, <laughs> it's just the weather, it's crazy for the time being. Uh, Dumbo's now and uh, charging and uh, it's uh, this is a breakfast charge and I've gone for a uh, putty panda for breakfast that's basically just potatoes and sausages and stuff cooked together well that's the charging stop in Dumbo's uh, where we charge up to 83% here and um, we are still driving south on the E6 um, it's starting snowing now, and uh, I think the next stop is Lillehammer. We just have to see. Well, 
Well, we are driving in our south in uh, Gudbrandsdal. It's uh, it's raining and uh, we are back in the land of uh, speed cameras and uh, toll roads and uh, heavy traffic. We are back here in Lillehammer, charging. The last time we were here, they were absolutely full. Today is a different situation. There are conditions like this that I think they call in um, the States like a whiteout, maybe I don't know because it's all white, it's difficult to see where the road is and where just snow. It's uh, dinner and a short time now. We are at Leira and charging and uh, eating, charging and eating. I got, um, I went for the uh, French fries and a burger, and Gu has went for a beef snodder. You have to Google beef snodder to find out what it means. Yeah, so we're just gonna do as we always do at this point. Eat, charge, watch Netflix, get fatter. Well, it's almost quarter to five now, and um, see now it's the end of daylight. Of course, being much further south now, we have longer days. And uh, we are starting uh, slowly to climb up into Filefjall. And um, so far, it's looking pretty good. Nice snowy conditions. at Filefjall and uh, I'm happy to say the condition over the mountains uh, tonight are very good. And here we are on the other side of the mountain and there is absolutely no snow here. Now we have stopped in one of these um, light pockets that are inside the tunnel. There are three of these, and um, they have been so popular that they needed to put out some trash cans in here, so people just don't throw their stuff around and get swirled up in the tunnel. So you see here we have a trash can, and there we have a trash can, and of course um, the whole place reeks like urine because. Uh, Everybody stops here when the weather is bad to have a wee wee.
We're back here in Bergen. And we have traveled uh, 5,800 kilometers by car. We have traveled 1,250 nautical miles by ship. And um, I must say, the Tesla turned out to be a brilliant companion for the trip. Uh, we had a lovely time. And as a guest, just leave me to say thank you very much for watching. And if you have followed the whole uh, series, thank you. And we really do hope you want to subscribe to our channel. Bye for now.